we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright decided to vlog again uh and I say again you guys haven't seen me um I swear I've started a weekly vlog so many times um and just like haven't continued with it but I'm gonna give it a shot it's hard because like things are really repetitive right now to be honest like like I literally get up go for a walk make my breakfast make my matcha or my coffee sit down work for eight hours uh, which is what I'm doing right now I have my as you guys saw my avocado rice cake I added a little bit of sriracha on top um, that has been my go-to breakfast um, very good and then my matcha either of that or iced coffee and then I do my apple cider vinegar shot and I have this for a snack um, these are just like really repetitive right now um, and it's hard to like find things to vlog about because things are just kind of boring um, however, I really miss you guys, <laughs> um, and that's why I decided to come back regardless. As you can tell, I gained a little bit more weight. Um, I hit a peak really bad. Um, I was really struggling, and uh, I'm sure you can see that in my videos, like, it's pretty obvious. Um, in the past videos I've put up over the past year couple months maybe you could see the game um yeah I really had a hard time and I will talk about that more if you guys want me to talk about that more about like why and what was happening and what I was doing but good news is I've gotten back on track I have been weighing in every week for the past four weeks at the uh, same place that I used to go to all the time for my weigh-ins they were so kind enough to let me come back because it was just part of my routine that really worked for me um, so I'm really lucky. I'm really excited. And so far I've lost, uh, I've lost nine pounds in three weeks. So things are going really well. Yeah. So I just wanted to start documenting my journey again because I'm going to have to be doing it again. <laughs> um, and that's, there's so much shame and embarrassment I've had attached to that, but like, 
F that. I don't need to be embarrassed. Like, this is where I am. Um, and I am choosing to be excited to do it over again. Because then I can change things that I feel like didn't work, clearly, for me the first time. Create more of a sustainable weight loss and um, really work for my health, not just the number on the scale. So um, I have been videoing my weigh-ins. Like once I hit a goal, I'll weigh in with you guys or something. I don't know if I'm going to weigh in every week just because that does... Like I, think, like, I feel like that was part of my journey that was unhealthy um, that I did previously. But I, regardless, we'll be updating you guys on my weight. Um, but... Just wanted to give you guys a little intro um don't blow dry my hair don't wear makeup can we talk about how good my skin looks okay it may not look good to you guys i got some redness i got some rosacea but i'm gonna put a photo here of what it was looking like i have been working so hard to clear up my skin and it's finally paying off that's it i'm really excited to be back i'm gonna sit here at my desk work all day fun <laughs> stay here work at my desk work all day <laughs> um but i will update you guys on lunch on what i have it'll probably be a salad and i am doing intermittent fasting so after lunch i will probably start fasting I like i'm liking um ending my fast early and starting it early so i usually will end my fast in the morning um around like I don't know, whatever I'm working. So I still haven't eaten yet. So I'll probably end it at like eight when I start working. And I will probably stop eating around two or three. And that has been the fasting window that has really worked for me. So that's it. And I will catch up with you guys later. Hey Google, give me a bubble. You got me acting out. You. Tenderness is out the window What you do to me When the cold bites blue is straight cold mm -hmm. Oh, it has to be you Leaving writings on the wall Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is Wednesday. I am on my way to my way in and I wanted to check in with you guys. I didn't film yesterday. I was having, a, let's just say like a personal day. Um, it was a, I was just having a hard like mental health day. So I didn't film yesterday and I just kind of took it easy. I still had to work, but I just like chilled after work. I read um, quite a bit actually. I got one of those Kindle, um, Kindle e-readers, which are amazing. Um, I read a couple books, um, not finished, but like bounced around. And I took Goose for a walk and I went to get a matcha, um, which was really like just a little bit of self-care. It was really nice. Things here are really bad with um, the, you know, the disease that's going on right now. Uh, if I say it, then my channel could get flagged, which, you know, great. Thanks, YouTube. Um, but so I have been, I mean, personally, I started self isolating before the lockdown, um, just because I'm overweight and I have asthma and that puts me at a higher risk for complications and I wanted to be safe. And the coffee shop that I go to, they have, um, like an outdoor pickup space it's like contactless so I ordered myself a matcha from them uh, just because like I just wanted one um, and yeah I'm feeling I'm feeling good I think to be honest I think I'm either gonna stay the same or maybe a little bit of a loss but not much it doesn't feel like much although I said that last week um, and I lost three pounds last week so we'll see. <laughs> um, I can definitely say my tracking has not been spot on this week as well as uh, my portion sizes have been a little bit bigger than normal. Um, I definitely found myself having a harder time with controlling the amount of what I was eating. So I am going to focus on that more this next week. And I, um, and my tracking wasn't totally on. So if I don't lose, like, that's where the blame lies and that's fine. Also, I've had a pretty consistent losing streak. So if I do have a week where I plateau, then it's like not that big of a deal. I know 
even though like this week my portion sizes weren't that good um when i say weren't that good were like more than i needed i um am eating really healthy so i also know that like even if i were to eat a little bit more of it it's not like i'm causing harm to my body by the foods i'm eating also found that my exercise was like terrible this week i barely worked out um definitely not okay definitely and when i say it's not okay it's not like i'm holding myself to like i have to do this and i have to do this but i know that i like i feel better when i work out i feel more accomplished i feel more proud i feel i have more energy i feel mentally clearer my mental health is better i feel more like motivated to make other changes in my life so that's also something I'm going to be focusing on this week. I mean, yes, I take Goose out for a walk every morning, but that's not enough. We don't go for that long of a walk. Um, so I need to be increasing those. I was doing that for a couple weeks, and it felt so good. Um, so I definitely want to get back to that as well, and that is going to be a focus of this week. I'm really excited to be back and sharing my journey with you guys. It um, It's been... It's taken a lot of work <laughs> to, uh, and I definitely not 100% there yet, uh, but it's taken a lot of work to work through the shame that I had and also um, just accepting where I am right now and accepting the fact that I gained most of my weight back. Like, that, <sighs> honestly, I, I feel sometimes like I got a little bit cocky. I mean, yes, of course, I have every right to be proud of myself but I think I got a little bit too confident saying like I'm never gonna wait, gain the weight back and surprise um I did out of denial and um avoidance and depression and disordered eating and I'd be happy to delve into that more if that is something that you guys want to see um in terms of just me talking about what has been going on and like where I found myself mentally and how I treated myself with food because I did not value myself this past year. I did not believe in myself. I didn't, <laughs> my self-worth tanked. And now because of that, because I almost feel like I like snapped out of it a little bit and I'm back in the place where I'm motivated and determined that um, it's, I'm having to rebuild my self-worth and my self-confidence and my um belief in my value and in, in myself and one of the things that I want to do differently this time around is not completely base that solely on the number and solely on my weight loss because like that was I mean you guys know it was like it was a huge my daily way and saying the number was like such a huge thing and I really like I really did base a good majority of like my self-worth on my weight loss and like that kind of became who I was and then when I lost that um, this past year when I made the choices that I did my self-worth disappeared because it was all based in the weight loss and the fitness and while I want to get back to where I was I to absolutely want to get back to where I was in terms of um, where I was on the scale and where I was in the gym and where I was in how I felt about my body and where I was about how I felt about myself like because I felt really good like I felt really good about myself and I felt really confident and I truly loved my body even though I had loose skin like I want to get back to that um, and I'm going to get back to that but I'm also working on adding value and adding value to myself for myself in other areas of my life so that is that. Uh, I will catch up with you guys after my weigh-in and have a little shot. Okay, back from my weigh-in. Um, I was right, I didn't lose, and sure, it's a little disappointing considering the losing streak I've been on. Um, I have lost consistently over the past three weeks. 
Um, however, it makes sense that I didn't because like I talked about, portions were a little bit harder this week and this might just be a natural cycle for my body. This might be a natural plateau week and that's fine. Like, as long as I'm making progress every week, I don't need to necessarily see the scale go down every single week. And of course I would love like me coming back to YouTube to be like a loss, but like this is real life. This is the real journey. And um, it's harder now. It's harder this time around because I'm not doing OptiFast <laughs> uh, to lose, you know, a chunk of my weight. And like that definitely helped um, me lose a large amount fast and very consistently. And I'm not doing that this time around because I don't believe it created a sustainable weight loss. I don't believe it was healthy. It didn't make me feel good. Um, of course, I was like on the high of losing the weight, but like other than that, like <laughs> that's part of the reason why I shaved my head um, when I did because my hair had come out because my body freaked out because I lost so much weight so fast. So this time around is gonna be different. It's gonna be slower. There's gonna be bumps in the road, but like, that's what it is and I'm excited for that because it gives me an opportunity to do it differently and to do it more healthily and I'm really really stoked for that um so yeah I guess this I just like I want a clean slate <laughs> that's what this is I want a clean slate I want a clean slate I want to hit the restart button start fresh not get in my head about you know my what I've done in the past and just be here now and focus on myself now and focus on my health now and I'm actually really excited about that and that's the first time I've been able to say that and truly feel it and it feels really good for this week I like I said I will be showing my weigh-ins when I reach certain goals just not every single week and I will update you guys when those are coming but I will still be vlogging every week giving you guys updates taking you along through my days showing you bits and pieces of what I'm eating and what I'm doing just like I did in the past um but restarted, refreshed, and I'm really excited. Uh, and I'm so, so, so excited to be back on here. That's it for this video. Leave all your comments down below if you have any questions for me in terms of like videos you wanna see or topics you wanna see me talk about, leave them down below. I will leave my Instagram and Twitter down below. Just a little spoiler, Twitter, I talk a lot about politics and my opinions. So if you wanna hear that, go there. Otherwise, uh, I keep updating my Instagram, of course. That is it for this week. Should we call it week one? Maybe. As of what I call it, um, I'm really excited to be back and just know the only way to predict your future is to go out there and create it for yourself. And I will see you guys next week.